Hey guys, so if you haven't had a chance already, um, there's another video on obstructive lung diseases. So um, you can go ahead and listen to that. Um, that one's a little more complex. This one's really simple. So restrictive diseases are exactly what they sound like. They're essentially diseases where the capacity of the lung is restricted due to a decrease in volume. So we can make some pretty obvious, uh, I shouldn't say assumptions, but there's some pretty obvious you know, things that would happen because of this. Now, let's look at a few. Um, the total lung capacity obviously is going to go down. So let's take a look. Total lung capacity, usually, it's 5,700, right? But now it's 4,000. So that's the most glaring difference. Now the next one is going to be um, this number right here, the inspiratory reserve volume. Now, they made a bit of a typo when they made this, okay? They had this arrow coming all the way up and down. That is the inspiratory capacity, not the reserve volume. So if you have these slides, I want you to note the difference. This red region is the IRV. The summation of the red and the purple is the IC, and that's the inspiratory capacity. Now, you'll notice they're both decreased by 1,700. And the reason that, so let's, let's point that out. This 1,300, in the healthy lung, that's 3,000, 1,700 difference. And this difference right here of 2,800, usually that's 4,500, okay? That refers to the maximum amount of air I can inhale, which makes perfect sense. That went down 1,700 because you had damage to the lungs. Of course, that number is proportional to the damage. But you notice what didn't change is the tidal volume. And that tidal volume right here that refers just to the amount I inhale in a regular inhalation. And that's because I don't use the entire volume of my lungs in a regular inhalation. So that remained the same. So to recap, because we're pretty much done here, is that you really only have a difference in how much you can inhale excessively. Now, if you look at the bottom part here, residual volume, that's the amount of air in your lungs after the furthest exhalation. Notice it didn't change at all. And that's because really, Restrictive lung diseases refer to an issue in inspiration, whereas in the other, the other uh, video I recorded, we were talking about obstructive lung disease, and that's kind of the opposite. You have a problem with expiration. So inspiration issues, that would be restrictive. You're restricting the amount of volume you can inhale. And then you have expiration issues, and that's obstructive because you have a hard time. The airway is obstructed, and you have a hard time expiring. Um, thank you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.